And a warm welcome on what is a fine day for football. I'm delighted to be able to report. My name is Derek Ray, and sitting next to me here on the commentary gantry is the former Arsenal and West Ham United midfield man, Stuart Robson. And gearing up for this pulsating Liga Portugal match, it's Xavish facing Braga. Thanks, Derek, as always. This should be a good game. Great atmosphere inside the stadium. We've got two teams full of quality, some interesting matchups, and two coaches that want to play an attractive brand of football. What more could you ask for? This is how it looks for the home side. Well, it'll be interesting to see how the wingers play today. Will they stay high and wide? Will they come in field and support the centre forward? And how deep will they come out of possession? They're going to be key to this formation. And introducing the visitors lineup today. Well, it's great to see them playing with the front two, but for it to work, they need to have a good understanding. They need to link up with each other and provide a different set of skills. And the match begins. Well, the outcome is a free kick here. This attack looks highly promising. Splendid tackle and a throw-in coming up. Out of play it goes and it will be a throw-in. Sequeira. Andre Orta with it. A very good tackle. Paulo Oliveira did well to win the ball back and threading it forward well no way through making a bit of headway can they forge ahead the importance of that tackle cannot be overstated Corner kick played in. Still not clear. Determined defending. Banza. Well, you can probably see why we're focusing on this fellow as one to watch. Stewart, in particular. What do you expect to see from him? Well, he's such a natural finisher. He has everything a good goal scorer needs. Composure, technique and awareness. He will certainly need to be tightly marked today. Very alert defending to cut off the supply. Ruiz. Useful looking ball. Wonderful chance. 
And a goal! Now they have their opener, and now they can set. Well, let's see this again. The vision to play this through ball is superb, and the finish is clinical. It just makes it look so easy, doesn't it? Ricardo Orta could be dangerous and he could really get at the opposition well space if he goes inside oh great defending breaking at pace oh a lovely ball well, it looked like it might lead to something very positive indeed, but a useful interception. Beautifully weighted ball. And still pressing. Well, he made that interception look routine. In truth, it wasn't. Pedro. Can he play it in? Now they stopped them in their tracks. Well, inching towards half time, and probably fair to say the fans were hoping for a little bit better than this. Stuart, your thoughts? Well, it's been a fairly even first half so far, but they haven't shown enough creativity, particularly in midfield, where there's been too many negative passes. If they can get the ball into the front areas that little bit quicker, I think they'll get back into this. In terms of added time, a minimum of one minute. The first half here comes to an end. You certainly have got to give this man high marks for his work up to this point, Stuart. Well, Derek, he took his goal well and was a constant threat throughout that first half. I thought he showed a lot of skill to get out of tight situations and he had a real impact on the plate. So the two teams have switched around and the second half is underway. did look on for them but not to be could be a chance to break here must be well that was easy on the eye and he didn't miss by much well that's how to counter attack they did it with such pace just couldn't finish it off Tremendous intuition to win it back. Good movement. Well, they're sitting ever deeper. Strong but fair tackle.
Uros Racic. And that was a very fine read. And he's allowed it to go over the touchline, so a throw in. And the substitution will occur now. And teammates around him. He'll be delighted to have won the ball, having made that difficult challenge. And the conditions look pretty good for the counter-attack. Might be able to set up the chance. Almost found its target, but cutting it out in the end. Wants to attack from the wide areas. Well, able to close down the short. into the final 20 minutes and they continue to advance and a lot of options here well nothing comes of it it looked promising and he has options available Bruno Langa. A chance to whip it in. Safe pair of hands did his job. Deserves credit for winning the ball back. Well, can they exploit the space out wide? And just slightly offside. Both managers deciding this is the time to change things around. Both teams going to the bench. Ten minutes to go. Well, far from the ideal pass, you've got to say. Well, on the cusp of full time, the home side keep plugging away but find themselves on the wrong end of the scoreline. Stuart, your thoughts on what you've seen? Well, I think their forward play has been poor today. They've not had enough movement from the front players and the midfield have been too safe with their passing. Unless that changes in these final few moments, they'll get nothing from this game. Can't miss, surely! And he takes it away. Down by a goal, this, and the keeper showing tremendous command. A corner kick, and who knows, this might represent their last chance to grab an equaliser. <laughs> Playing it in. Well, he made great contact with that one, but the goal keeps... It's one corner after another. Over it comes. And well off target in the end. Good pressure from the defender to push him off. And there goes the final whistle, much to the disappointment of their supporters. Well, Derek, certainly not their best performance, was it? Just a little bit off the pace for me, and obviously a disappointing result. But the key thing is, they bounce back now, and they can't afford a repeat performance. And in the final analysis, a really positive performance from this man, Stuart.
Well, he gave them a really hard time, didn't he? His speed of thought was excellent and he took the winning goal so well. He was brilliant today.